Let's have a look at some exercises about probability basics. So we are given this illustration with eight boxes containing different colored balls and we want to consider some events. We're supposed to compute the probability of our event A where A means um, that we randomly choose a box and this box contains a green ball with an A in it. So let's have a look at the definition of that. So by definition this is the cardinality of our event set divided by the cardinality of our omega where this is 8 in this case because we have 8 boxes and the cardinality of A is 4 because we have 4 boxes that um, fulfill our definition. So we have 1 half. Okay. Let's continue. The probability of event B. Yeah, let's consider this again. So 4 out of 8. The probability of C. 3 out of 8. 1, 2, 3. And the probability of D. is again 4 out of 8 or 1 half. Now let's consider the intersection of these events. So what does the event A intersected with B mean? Well this means that we only consider those boxes that contain A and also B. Uh, B balls. So this one, for example, contains A and B at the same time, and this one. So let's have a look. We counted two. Did I miss any? I think not. The same holds for our other events, except for um, P of A intersect C, which is one eighth, only this one over here. Okay, let's continue. Let's check whether um, the events A and B are statistically independent and what this means is checking whether this holds let's put a question mark up here and yeah we just fill in we have a half and a half And we have this over here, so 1 divided by 4, and this indeed holds. So yes, we have statistical independence here. And the same way we can also check our other um, yeah, events, whether they are statistically independent. So for the next step, let's compute the conditional probability. Probability of A given C can be computed as probability of A and C, like intersect, divided by the probability of C. And if we just fill this in, let's see, we did this already here. 1 divided by 8 divided by and probability of C 
got that over here. 3 divided by 8, and this is 1 third. And the others can be computed similarly. Now we want to check whether the events A and B are conditionally independent given C. This means that, let's, let's note that down here, probability of B given D times the probability of C given D equals the probability of B intersect C given D. Let's put the question mark up here again. And now let's fill in. So unfortunately we didn't compute them, but I'll just um, stick that in from the solution. So this one over here is uh, one half, or two over four, but I'll just fill in one half. This one here is also one half. And this one here is 1 divided by 4 and this indeed holds. So again for this case we have um, conditional independence.